North Peaks is great. North Peaks is uh, it's a combination of power tools and sports. And the other nice thing about it is we get to get patients better quickly. It is so neat to see a patient come in hobbled with pain and then a day later they're walking out of the hospital with a smile on their face saying, you've changed my life. That, 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 there's a high on that that you just can't describe. and say, oh, my hip, and they'll point to the side of their hip, where typically the hip joint, or the hip joint really is located more in the groin area. So most, most patients will have uh, some groin pain, they'll say, oh, I pulled my hip, and they'll just, they won't do anything for a long time. Typical conditions that cause that, far and away the most common cause is osteoarthritis, just basically wear and tear arthritis. The joint just wears out. Um, rheumatoid arthritis, conditions called avascular necrosis where the femoral head loses its blood supply, maybe injury to the hip, uh, post-traumatic arthritis. But any and all of those conditions, the, the hallmark is pain. Pain that limits their daily activities, affects their sleep. You know, patients typically have difficulty putting on simple daily things, putting on their shoes and socks, getting out of a chair. You know, you just don't do the things you want to do just because you know your hip's going to hurt. The most important difference between a traditional hip replacement and the so quote unquote jiffy hip with a direct anterior approach is that by simply moving the incision from the side, where a traditional incision is, to the front, you can take advantage of a normal intermuscular plane, meaning you can spread between the muscles and not cut through them. Since you don't detach or cut the muscles or tendons, there's much less post-operative pain. Most patients are very comfortable and require very little medication post-operatively. The ability to return to function, the muscle recovery, since you're not cutting through it, the muscle recovery is much faster. So most patients on average are off their assist devices, say a walker or a cane, within two weeks, back to driving within a week or 10 days, uh, which is a, a big difference from more traditional surgery. We teach the teachers, We've, I've had professors from Dartmouth, from UVA, from Emory that come to watch so they can maybe take this back. And the nice thing is they all remark at how good the team is here and how efficient the team is here. I don't, I don't typically have to ask for any, any instrument during the case. They know the routine and, and it's wonderful. And it really is a, a very unique situation where we are really a, a relatively small hospital, yet we provide, I think, the, the best level of care. We have the Orthopedic Center of Excellence, we've gotten the Health Star, or health grades five star rating for orthopedics um, because we are in the cutting edge and because we provide exceptional quality and care. And yet we can still do that in this, in this smaller setting and, and provide that personalized level of care that I think patients want and expect. I know I want my family member to have care like that.